everyone. So earlier today, I posted a story about the iced coffee that I made myself on Instagram and I got a lot more uh, DMs about that than I expected, asking me how I did it. So I figured I'd make a quick, simple video tutorial just to share with you the tips and tricks that I picked up over the years on how to make an iced coffee that feels, I don't wanna say cafe worthy, um, but definitely feels a little bit more fancy than your typical run of the morning run-of-the-mill coffee in the morning. Um, it's again, very straightforward. I guarantee you have everything at home to make it. You just need whatever coffee you use, um, whatever milk you prefer to use, maple syrup or another type of sweetener, ice and a cocktail shaker. And if you don't have a cocktail shaker, you could also use a mason jar with a lid on it or any other sort of container that has a tight enough lid um, to screw on so that when you shake it, it just doesn't explode all over the place on you. Um, I started making these when my daughter was born and I didn't want to go out to a cafe all the time, especially when she was napping. So I got a little bit creative at home and figured out some little kind of bits and tricks and bits um, of how to make it so that it kind of ups the, the flavor element of it as well. So I hope you enjoy. So you're going to start off by making your coffee as you normally do. Um, make yourself a shot with an espresso machine or you can do it with French press or air press or whatever you got going on. Uh, before I add the hot water, I like to do something fun with maple syrup uh, where I pour it in. And you're going to see me here realizing that I'm right-handed for the camera and messing up. So you pour a little maple syrup in. I just like to coat the bottom of the cup or however you prefer. I think I put too much in here. Um, and then you add the hot water in and then you make the coffee like you normally would. I find doing it this way helps to blend the maple syrup flavor a little bit better with the hot water so it's spread out evenly, but you know, that's just a little picky thing that I do. And then once it's done, you're gonna take it and mix it up. Then grab your cocktail mixer, you're gonna put your ice in it, your coffee and maple syrup blend, and if you're like me, you're gonna be fancy and put them all in separate containers for no reason whatsoever other than it's aesthetically pleasing. Pour your oat milk in, and then put the lid on top of the container. Next, you're going to grab your cocktail shaker and shake it, make some awkward faces while you stare at the camera, and then pour it into a glass and enjoy it. It's as simple as that. So yeah, that's about it. Super simple, super straightforward recipe. Almost spilled this. Um, hopefully it helps you up your at-home coffee game a little bit so that you can stay home and keep other people safe as well. Um, this has been a little bit of a sneak peek into where we're headed with Anthrodish for the summer. Um, lots of exciting things to come that go a little bit above and beyond podcasting and I wanted to do for a while. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about it um, and be prepared to see a little bit more coming soon. I can't stop it. <laughs>